Hey y'all, welcome back to Simple Sanctuary Garden. My name is Sarah. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a cloche. I'm 98% sure that's how you say it. <laughs> I looked it up. Um, but these are lately my favorite garden tool um, because they can do so much for very young seedlings and sprouts. Basically all that a cloche is, is a covering that you can put over your plant. Um, typically it's used to help predict, protect it, excuse me, from frost or very cold weather. So for instance, in the spring when you start tomatoes, if you happen to have a cool night that you weren't anticipating coming, you can just plop one of these down over your tomato uh, seed link and it will help insulate it. Because most cloches are clear, if you put it on earlier in the day, you get that nice greenhouse effect. It keeps it a little warmer. Um, so even if it's not going to be too cold for your seedling, if you want it to be a little warmer at night, this is a great way to kind of give it a boost. Another aspect of cloche, cloches, cloche eye, whatever, these things. <laughs> Um, that I really like and that I have been battling um, for really the past year is that these will protect your starts when they are at their tenderest and apparently yummiest to pests from those pests. I really wish I had known about these and used them last year when I was trying to start all of those sunflowers that got eaten. Um, I just started using these and have been protecting like cabbages and broccoli seedlings with them, it's a game changer. They are really cheap and easy to make. Um, and so that's what I'm going to show you guys today. Basically, you just need some empty soda bottles. I am making these on the small side because I'm really gearing up towards seedlings and because these are the size clear bottles that we have. Um, you can also do bigger versions, such as um, this old vinegar container. Um, it's translucent, so it should still capture heat if that's what you're trying to do. At the very least, it will keep the pests and frost off your plants. So these will work. Um, I've heard of people making these out of wine bottles. Anything that's going to cover your plant, you can use. You can even use an upside down red solo cup if things get dire, but I digress. So today we're going to turn each one of these soda bottles into two cloches to protect your plants. And it's really, really easy to do. You need a box cutter of sorts. Um, this is the one I'm using, at least at the moment. You probably could also use um, a pair of scissors, although to me that seems like it would be actually easier to cut yourself than with a box cutter. So this is what I recommend. And your bottle. This is all you need. Um, it's apparently starting to rain, so if it gets too loud, I may have to stop and try again. All right, let's try that again. All you need to do is take your box cutter, like so, um, extend the tip a little bit, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. And start making um, cuts into the center. I have found that I do like a shallow cut to kind of get the blade going. There we go, it's locked. And it just, you know, follows that line and then goes through. really quite easy. There we go. And there you have it. You have, oops, you have two cloches that are ready to top some fairly small seedlings. 
Now, if you're wanting to use a, clo a cloche like this and it's actually already too warm outside to be trapping in any extra heat, one of the perks of the soda bottles is that you can just take the tip off and that heat will escape. So you don't have to worry about like smothering your seedlings. With the bottom half, however, you can't really do that unless you wanna put some holes in there and then it's no longer any good for frost. So what I recommend is just using the tops um, in those times when you're no longer worried about cold temperatures or coming out, that was graceful, or you can come out after the sun's really past the peak of the day. So, you know, anytime after like four or five when it's not going to be trapping so much heat and put these uh, closed ends out then to protect from pests. Well, I hope you guys found this helpful. If you have any questions about cloches, please be sure to leave those in the comments below. If you have any advice or tips on similar things or other ways to use these little lovelies, uh, leave those below as well. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you found this video helpful and be sure to subscribe to follow along with us as we grow through the winter here in Florida. Thank you guys so much for watching today. We'll talk soon.